Hello and welcome to Global Japan. Every year, deadly wildfires destroy homes and consume vast swathes of natural environments. Prevention is key, so is minimizing their impact. In this program, we're looking at how an eco-friendly firefighting foam made in Japan from soap could be a global game changer. This report from Damon Embling and our teams in Japan and Indonesia. Wildfires ravage many parts of the world, and with predictions of hotter, drier weather, we could see even more of them in future. The Japanese city of Kitakyushu had 10 forest fires last year alone. And it was here the fire service came up with the firefighting foam. It was originally conceived to reduce the water needed to put out building fires after the devastating 1995 Kobe earthquake. During this earthquake, many fires started. At the time, fire hydrants and fire cisterns were destroyed by the earthquake and we couldn't store water. Teaming up with the city university and soap company, the fire service has perfected the foam, created by mixing a solution made from naturally sourced soap into water. It's chemical-free, biodegradable, and works by disrupting water droplets. When the fire extinguisher agent is mixed, the droplet of water is not able to form and become sticky, so it's well absorbed in the openings of fabric or wood. The success of the foam made at this soap factory is now focusing researchers' minds on how it can be used on wildfires. This is University of Kitakyushu research shows that it's up to 266 times less harmful than other synthetic versions. There is data showing that water consumption can be reduced to less than 1 17th, and for environmental performance, it is much less toxic to fish and other aquatic life than synthetic extinguishing agents. In addition, as it is 100% decomposed by environmental microorganisms, there is no residue in the environment. International academic conferences for wildfires are organized across the world. We took part with university professors and staff from Kitakushu City Fire Department. Some people were interested in our environmentally friendly extinguishing agent. The foam has made its way here to Borneo Island. Home to dense forests and waterways, peatland fires are a particular problem here. Indonesian university researchers have been trying out the foam in a range of experiments, including on a test fire. Ten months later, they found the vegetation had grown back. From my previous experiences, putting out fires with only water is very difficult, but by using this soap in a short time, we get very good results. When peat catches fire, embers can continue burning underground for a long time, releasing harmful gases. The Japanese soap-based foam penetrates the soil, putting them out, something that was invaluable here in 2019 during a real forest fire. After we put out the fire, the next day it was back on. Luckily, at that time there was a stock of Shabandama soap left over from the previous field testing that we used to put out the fire. Even though we didn't have much soap left, we felt that the results were very effective in putting out the remaining fires. Back in Japan, green-minded Kitakyushu now plans to test the foam in Chiang Mai in Thailand too. Further building on university industry collaborations and helping to cut global CO2 emissions. We hope that with the use of this foam fire extinguisher, we can control CO2 emissions a little and greatly contribute to climate change measures. Well, that's it for this edition of Global Japan. You can find all the programs in this series on our website, euronews.com. Thanks for watching and bye for now.